Alright guys, back to do another lesson, uh, this time for She's a Rainbow, um, psychedelic song from the Stones, came out in 1967. Uh, the way I like to play this is with a capo at the 3rd fret, and uh, once you put a capo at the 3rd, you can, uh, the chords are going to be uh, G. C and D, and those are the only three chords in in the whole song. And um, if you wanted to play it the way Keith is playing it, you're just going to strum the, the chords. Three, three chords in the in the whole song um, but what could make it a little bit of a challenge is if you wanted to incorporate the piano and to do that uh, the, the little piano melody is a lot of it based around the D chord So that to play that little sequence, um, you're going to start with your second finger down at the second fret of the G string, and you're going to hit the open B string, hit the note at the first fret with your first finger, come down with your ring finger to the third fret, hit the open high E string, and you're going to put your ring finger down at the third fret play the D chord do it again and the last time you're just gonna play the notes on the B string well you're gonna start with the note on the G string second fret Hit the open B string, uh, put your first finger down, lift it off, put it back down again, and then come down to the third fret. And you're going to switch to a G chord, but when you play this G chord, you want to play it with your ring finger uh, and your pinky. Because this way you can add your first finger and you're actually going to do that you're going to start that way with your first finger down so let me play that uh, little sequence again and so you're going to quickly switch from the D to G with your finger already added and you're going to lift it off and put your second finger down at the second fret of the G string and lift it off and then put your second finger down at the second fret of the A string and then you're going to switch to G or C I'm sorry Throw in little embellishments like with your second finger on the C chord, lift it off, add it back on, do a little hammer on at the G string. I mean, there are only three chords in the whole song, and uh, so it's just a matter of how fancy you want to play it and how much of the piano you want to incorporate in. But that beginning part is a nice thing to throw in. Um, and I mean, if you were going to try to play this out somewhere, play it in a coffee house or um, 
something like that, I think you'd want to incorporate um, the piano part into your playing. If you could do it and sing at the same time. If you were the guitar player and somebody else was just singing, you could definitely throw in, you know, little licks and things like that. If you have to sing it along with play it, then you might want to think about just strumming the chords. Uh, which sounds pretty good. If you just strum the chords, it sounds good. But it's just kind of limited to do it that way. Um, it's so much more fun to throw in little licks and, um, you know, embellishments. Alright, so I um, hope this helps you out. Good luck with it.